Good morning. My name is Fadil Nasiri. I am a PhD student at the University of New York City. Uh, I would like to, to express my gratitude to accept my communication in your interesting event. The title of my communication is Exploring Barriers to Inclusive Teaching Practices in Moroccan School. The plan of my communication is the following introduction problematic methodology, results, and discussion. For the context of my research, as we all know, that education is considered as the fourth pillar of the Sustainable Development Goals, 2050-2030. And for this reason, uh, education for all is indispensable. And what, that's why there was a gathering uh, in Inshuan which results in showing declaration and framework for action to 2015, and it insists on education for all, or what we would call inclusive education. It means including all learners without exception in mainstream schools to avoid uh, segregation and marginalization. The national uh, context of inclusive education was uh, after this uh, this international effort. Of course, uh, in Morocco, there was the national program for inclusive education in 2018, and also the framework law number 5117, which aimed to which aims to to generalize inclusive and solidary education for all children without distinction, to avoid, as we already mentioned, segregation and marginalization of some students. The concept we adopt, the concept of inclusive education we adopt in, in this research is that inclusive education is considered as a process of transforming the education system to guarantee right to quality education for all persons. Also, it is a process to avoid marginalization based, based on differences or ability. The problematic of our research is already mentioned in the, in the report for the evaluation of the uh, education of, child, of children with disability in Morocco school made by the Supreme Council for the Education, Formation and Scientific Research, which uh, Confirm that confirm the low quality of education of children with disabilities in mainstream schools, which leads us to our question or our main question, which is what are the barriers to the to inclusive to junior inclusive teaching practices in Moroccan school, which guarantee uh, quality education for everyone for all. We conducted. Uh, uh, qualitative research uh, with a sample of 24 teachers from different schools. They are teaching in, uh, in inclusive classrooms. Uh, 40 uh, female and 10 male, and they are aged between uh, 25 and 55. We conducted a focus group during in, in uh, within schools, after having the permission of the uh, local educational board, and we used in vivo to to conduct a content uh, <coughs> content analysis. <coughs> the results are the cultural barriers, which uh, are uh, which reflect. The predominance of common cultural background among teachers, either background, either medical background, or disability or philanthropic background. Also, there are some institutional barriers. Uh, they appear in the blurred conceptualization of education in Morocco. Uh, most teachers they don't know what exactly means inclusive education and what is for, and also the non-contextualization of inclusive education uh, and it was clear about the, the usage of, of concepts from 
imported from different contexts like the Western one. Also, there are some technical barriers, uh, which are which consist of some problems in the school structure, accessibility, and the low use of technology. We believe that uh, in this from these results, we think that the lack of training leads to 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 teach unprepared teachers to teach in inclusive classrooms and uh, which engenders some pedagogical problems and uh, which uh, create many problems within inclusive classrooms so that teachers couldn't manage uh, uh, inclusive classrooms where there is uh, difference, different students in the same classrooms uh, with uh, with disability and uh, children from uh, different uh, cultural background, from nomad, minority, or something like this. Uh, we also, the lack of, we also th think that the lack of conceptualization of inclusive education uh, leads to this blurred concept of what is school inclusion, how we can do it, why, and uh, what is inclusive education in Moroccan context? So there is a, there is a clarity about inclusion within mainstream classrooms. Also, there is a lack of investments uh, either in the equipment, uh, in structure, and also in the technology to be used to facilitate uh, the work of teachers in classrooms. This lead, these problems lead to many difficulties to, to implement inclusive uh, pedagogy, inclusive teaching practices within classrooms in many areas in Morocco, including the West, West, West Morocco. We believe that our research might help to, in the debate to contextualize inclusive education to Moroccan context. Uh, and also to create and to develop inclusive teaching practices within Moroccan context. Thank you very much.